So now tell me, um, I offered you that I will send you a laptop and you were very scared and you said that, no, you don't want the laptop. No, you're not scared. You were like, you don't, you can afford it. You can make it your own computer. It's a poor person who can afford, doesn't afford it. Right. But as I explained the other day that I'm more interested in sending you as a friendship, as a gift of friendship. When, when a person meets a person, when, if I come to your place, you will probably, you know, maybe buy me a coffee or dinner. It doesn't mean that I'm a poor person. You're just showing a gesture of love and vice versa. If you come to my place, I would be very happy to host you. So similarly, um, the gesture of giving a computer to you is not just because you cannot afford it. It's a friendship, a uh, hand of friendship towards you. And, um, Rip, what is the most delicious food in Pakistan? What is the food that you most enjoy there? There are lots of them. Um, and the one you can have it near your place is called Nihari. And you must try it out and you can eat it. I will, if, if you allow me, I will introduce you to a friend who lives near you. He can host you and he can host you for an hour. You know what I mean? Send me a loaf of bread. Okay. Send me a box of candy. Send me a birthday card. Will, you don't have not so will, much money. I will do that also. But the, the story, imagine the story behind it a, a, a muslim pakistani guy sending a laptop to a jewish israeli american guy as a gesture of friendship you know make a story out of it and then you can give it to somebody else if you want to but the whole idea well, is in a worthy poor per person yeah you can give not going to give it to someone faking poor <laughs> well the the whole idea is that you are, you since I have connected with you on Facebook, you have opened up to so many people, and I want to know what you have learned from these interactions so far. Oh my God. Okay, I have a totally different outlook on being Jewish, which is really weird. From what I understand, now you can correct me if I'm crazy or wrong, but from what I understand, I am a Muslim Jew, or Jewish Muslim, however you'd like to put that, who lives under the Sha'ariya of Moses. What? I didn't understand that. Even I but don't that's what that. seems to be. Like, Christians are Muslim Christians, or Christian Muslims, however you flip that around, who live under the Sha'ariya of Jesus. Does that sound nuts to you, or is that right? I'm not getting anything. Doesn't make sense to me. Explain. Okay, because we all have monotheism. Jews, monotheism. Christians, possible monotheism, not quite sure, but we'll call it that. And Muslims, definitely monotheistic, the same as Jews. So I ask, does Muslim mean monothe? Theist, and I get answer. Yes, Muslim means monotheist. Okay, I'm monotheist. Does that make me a Muslim? And I get answer back. Yes, but a different. It's like, whoa, I'm confused. What kind? I'm Jewish. And then it was explained to me. Okay, everybody's a Muslim with their own Sharias. The Hindus are Muslims living under the Sharia of. I don't know, five gods or whatever they have over there, living under the Hindu religion, Sharia, and they have their own religion and their own books. The Christian people have their own Sharia with their own leaders and their own books. The How many different kinds of Muslims that are considered Muslims? Each are supposed to have their own leaders and their own books. And then all the Sharias somehow work together, which I haven't figured out out that part yet but it's not a bad concept it's just a change of language so we have to figure out a language that everyone understands because when i say something it may not mean the same thing to the person who hears it even i don't understand what you're saying <laughs> so i have to find a language that everyone can agree on so that no one gets bad feelings yes so I'm like 
getting a different view. But then again, I'm talking to non-Arab Muslims. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a whole different world apart. You know what I mean? I'm talking from Muslim from all over. Liberal, not so liberal, you know? So I'm getting all different points of view, and I'm trying to organize them in my head in a logical way. And if it's supposed to be that the whole world reaches peace when everyone becomes a Muslim, well, we already are all Muslim, according to some Muslims. Do you understand that? No, I absolutely don't understand that. And I, I won't talk about it because it's not my specialty. Uh, I heard it and I was like, wow, different way to think, you uh, know? I would like to conclude our call for today so I can go ahead and take the next call. But it is an honor, pleasure. Yeah. I'm so happy to finally see you put a face on your name. And um, I'm so honored to be able to share this video with other people so they can reach out to you and change the world as you, as you, as using your knowledge and everything. Yes, my base is mostly in science, but I can talk hal halakha if anyone wants to. I don't even know what that is. That's Jewish law. Oh, cool. So Some of which I don't follow myself. Okay. But I can talk halakha all day. <laughs> okay. How do you say that again? Uh, what does Jewish law say about... No, how do you say halakha? How do you say halakha? You know what I mean? Okay. Salam. Shalom alaykum. Alaykum salam. Thank you, brother. Okay, we talk later. Right. I love you. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so very much. much.